Hi there! How are you? I hope you're doing great. Today I'm going to bring the review of this book, More of Me, by Katherine Evans. This is the first book that she actually wrote. I read first the second one that's called Beauty Sleep. And it's an amazing book because it's, it's called like a retelling of the Sleeping Beauty. But uh, when you flip through the pages, you see that it's about a girl who has been frozen because there was this illness that cannot be cured in the timeline she's in, so she's frozen. And when they wake her, wake her up, you can see that there is some things that doesn't exactly fit and that she hasn't been told exactly all the truth. And so the book had this thrillery quality to it, so there was a lot of mystery things going on and you know it was very gripping and it was amazing so i felt like i had to read the other book that katherine evans has written and it's this one more of me that's actually her first book and i have to say that i love this one so much when i was uh at, well more or less in half the book i was thinking what i'm exactly reading because the book follows follows this main character that's called tiba and she explains us from the very beginning that once a year, when it's near her birthday or something, she kind of splits out of her own body. And it's like she leaves behind another girl that's kind of frozen, frozen in, in the six year, seven year, eight year. It's like, as you can see here, it's 12 girls, one identity. It's like they split and there is like the other one that gets left behind like a shell. But she's alive, she has all the memories, she has everything, but suddenly that person is not allowed to be outside the home because how you can explain that your own daughter clones herself yearly, you know, it's like crazy. And there is all these other divas at home, there is one that has six years, another one that has seven, and the one that's going to have a bigger impact in this story is 15, because the diva we are following in the book is the one that has 16 years. And the 15 one, it's feeling like the new diva is taking everything from her. And in a way it's true, because she has gone to school, she has these friends, she has been having the same friends since they were little, but you know, it's like the old copies get left behind. So yeah, it's very complicated to explain, but try to follow me please and it's like this uh, girl 15 she wants to keep living her life she wants to keep going to school she wants to keep going on with ollie who was his boyfriend and she feels like the new tiba has stolen everything and on the other hand the the new tiba that's going to be our main character feels like she's entitled to have this life because she knows that she only has has a year before she splits again and she's the one that has to remain back at home with the other ones. So it's like, okay, what is really going on? Because there is one point in the book where you began wondering, is Teva crazy? I mean, is she mating, making everything up? There is some mental problem that makes her believe that there are sisters or clones of herself because there is conversations with her mother that looks like the mother doesn't really know if they are other Tivas. Does the mother really sees them? So it was this moment in which I thought what I'm really reading, it's like a psychological thriller. It, I mean, it's all on Tiva's head. It's She's just imagining everything, you know. Or is this really some kind of a sci-fi thing? She's really cloning herself, dividing from herself. What the hell is going on? So it's amazing, this book, because I was thinking, I was putting myself, I chose to believe that Tiba had a psychological problem and that she was projecting all these sisters. Uh, maybe, I don't know, there was some problem in her when she was six years or, you know, like, there were parts of me that I kind of remember as if they were their own people, their own person. So, yeah, I'm not going to explain what the book really is about. You're going to have to end it and be surprised by, by the ending. I love it. But I love that the book makes me think about, okay, maybe that's not a sci-fi. Maybe she's not separating from herself. Maybe she's not sort of cloning herself. So maybe it's all on her head. And then I was looking for clues in the book just to back up my theory. And, and I love that you can have this, this I don't know, this, this way of, of thinking about the book, of, of thinking, okay, it, that's going to be it. And then maybe you're wrong and that's not it at all. And maybe it's just true that there are clones. 
and why and you know but I love that the book makes grips me so much that I want to know if what's going on is real or it's not real and the ability this book had of making me think of making me creating my own story about okay it's all in her head because that's not possible and and you know and I love it I also love the, this idea of the book of a person cloning herself so to speak it's like a cell division and she doesn't have anyone to go for help because the mother says that they cannot tell it to anyone because they will be experimented on, killed, whatever. And so she feels like she has all this wall going on and the other Tibas and you know, that was me when I was seven. Oh my God, that was me when I was seven and 15 that she wants her own, her own life back. She wants to be who she was. It's like, okay, now suddenly my life is over and this is another person taking over everything I have, friends, my career, my job, my work, everything. So this book is very, very strong and it makes you think a lot of, about who you really are and uh, maybe there is more of you, but you are really you, you know? It's, 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 I love this book, it's amazing. And I have to say that I was unable to stop reading because I wanted to see what was going on. Is it real? There are like 12 Tibas, what is, what is happening? Because there is like two Tibas that are missing, four and five, why are they missing? And um, why is it happening? Because suddenly Tiba feels like her finger is, uh, you know, dividing itself. And is it true? Is it all in her head? And then suddenly all begins to get explained and you cannot stop reading because it's like, okay, what's going on? I mean, it's, it's amazing. I love how this book made me think so many things and feel so many things. And as I say, how it... I was unable to stop reading. I mean, I read this book, it's like three... 350 more or less pages and I ended it in like one day because I just got not stop it's so good the episodes the captors are just uh, not long not short just medium length and you're following how Tiba is feeling how she feels herself separating from the other Tiba the 15th one and how she begins to feel alive and how she thinks that she wants to have a future that she wants to fight and you fear her fears when she thinks she's mad. Maybe she's uh, seeing people that are not exactly there. And I like how she wants to find help, but she has to do in a way that no one knows it's her. So she's kind of reaching out, but not. And, and you're put in that place where nothing is real and everything is. And I love the way of writing that Catherine has because it makes everything feel like it's real. You're reading the book and you're not thinking that this cannot be. You're, you're thinking everything is real, everything makes sense. Whether you go with the sci-fi theory of there is clones or, you know, just splitting up from your own body or maybe she's crazy, but everything makes sense. And any theory can be sustained by the way the book is written, so that's amazing. And I also love the personality of Tiba, our Oh my, the, our main Tiba, the one we are following through the book, because it makes sense. She knows she has stole the life of someone else, and she knows that the life she's living is going to get stole as well when when the splitting gets to her. So it's amazing to see this character who is, in some way, you know, trying to get the best she can, will she can. And yeah, I love it. It makes me think I will also will have liked to see a, maybe a, a lot more of unity between the Tibas. Uh, there's Steve as seven and eight, I think they're very close friends, but I don't know I will It's it's complicated because you will have like to see more maturity in our mind Tiba thinking that maybe she will try to approach the other ones But yeah, what will you do if you only had one year to live if you had been like a prisoner in your own body and you had suddenly the chance the chance to, to, to explore to have just one year for yourself. So it's it's very it's very complicated. It's a it's quite a book, I love that one. So if you like weird books where you don't really know what's real and what's not, if you want to have a book that's going to have you second guessing, is it real, is she crazy, is she seeing things, or maybe she's splitting, is it real that suddenly she has more than one finger in her hand, is she splitting, or maybe she's making it up, if you want a book about, you know, plus they are in high school, so it's all the pressures about being with the friends, doing activities, the mother saying they can because they cannot be seen outside. So, yeah, if you like weird books that have you always second-guessing yourself and with that sense that you cannot stop reading 
and there's this weird churning sensation on your stomach that you need to know what's going on, pick this one because you are not going to regret it. So thank you for watching. Bye.